cholesterol alone is not the best predictor for prescribing cholesterol-lowering statins. Tailoring prescriptions to those at highest risk for a heart attack is a better approach, according to a University of Michigan study. We've been worrying too much about people's cholesterol level and not enough about their overall risk of heart disease. We know that statins do a lot of different things. It blocks part of the synthesis of statins so that it lowers production of LDL cholesterol. But statins also have effects on inflammation. And inflammation on the inside of our blood vessels is often what causes heart attacks and strokes. It's not just a matter of cholesterol alone. Statins also affect aspects of platelet clot formation, another thing that can cause heart attacks and strokes. The bottom line message of this research is for people to think more about what is my heart attack risk. If it's high, you should probably be on a statin, regardless of what your cholesterol is. If your cholesterol is your only risk factor and you're younger, you should work on diet and exercise. A statin might not be the first thing to think about. With just a few medicines, low-dose statin, an aspirin, one or two blood pressure me medicines for those people that have elevation of your blood pressure, you can decrease your risk of heart attacks and strokes by over half.